The Kumasi International Airport, located in Kumasi, the capital city of Ashanti, Ghana, is operated by the government of Ghana. The airport offers international and domestic aviation services to passengers in the Ashanti region and nearby areas. It is regarded as one of the busiest international airports in the country. Known for its regional airline operations, the airport is undergoing an expansion to transform it into a full-fledged international airport. The expansion project forms part of the multimodal transportation system being developed by the government to enhance tourism in the Ashanti region. The airport has witnessed a steady rise in passenger traffic over the recent years. The expansion will also serve the growing demand by adding capacity to serve international passengers. The construction of Kumasi Airport was approved in 1940, and it was not until 1947 that documentation for land acquisition was completed and paid for. However, by 1943, Kumasi Airport had been completed and operations were started. Airside operations at the airport were streamlined by the Ghanaian government with a series of development activities carried out on the runway between 1958 and 1959. The airport underwent main renovations such as installation of lights on the taxiway and extension of the runway southwards during the 1970s. Whilst the lights enhanced night operations, the extension of the runway enabled operations of short-haul jets like the F-28. The building of a new terminal and the installation of a VOR slash DME commissioned on 1st December 1993 completed the modernization process. The airport served as a military base until it was converted into a domestic airport in 1999. It was declared as an international airport primarily for regional operations with the full complement of security, customs, and immigration staff in 2003. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. The Kumasi Airport has undergone several rehabilitation and upgrades to become help ensure its status as international airport. In 2008, renovation works were done by Bands Consult Limited at the airport, including the rehabilitation of the arrival and departure halls, the control room, rescue and fire station, and the construction of a VIP lounge ahead of the African Cup of Nations 2008, which Ghana was hosting. In 2012, initial renovation works were started on the existing facilities to involve patching and filing of cracks on the main runway. Construction of additional waiting room and building a car park to make way for future renovation and upgrades targeted for the following year. In 2013, the government of Ghana embarked upon a phased development of the Kumasi Airport to provide the requisite infrastructure for safe domestic and international operations to ensure safety and comfort for passengers, whilst ensuring Ghana had a fully functioning international airport, along with Katoka International Airport. Phase 1 works to upgrade the Kumasi Airport to international standard was scheduled to be completed by the end of 2014. The first phase consisted of the rehabilitation of the defective runway and installation of airfield lights and aeronautical ground lights on the runway to facilitate night operations at the airport. The commissioning of the Phase 1, which happened in December 2014, was earmarked with a historic first night landing by the then-President John Dramani Mahan. Prior to this upgrade in instrument landing system, ILS was installed to aid pilots for takeoff and land. Plans to start working on the Phase 2, which is to cost around 6 to 5 million euros, had been decided by November 2016. The project covered mainly the construction of a new two-story ultramodern terminal of 7,000 square meters of space based on a 400 passenger per hour and an annual passenger traffic forecast of 1,500,000 parking areas and a ring road around the airport. The building is to also include spaces like VVIP and VIP lounges, restaurants, commercial areas, three boarding gates, 
a central screening system for passengers, an IATA standard baggage handling system, and also offices for the airline companies. In December 2016, President John Dramani Mahama, along with a representative of the Asandheen, Autumn Fuel Osai Tudu Tlen, a Safuheen Akem Fuel Quaim Akauyu, cut the sod for work to begin on the second phase of the Kumasi Airport project by Contracta Ingenieria Limity. In June 2018, President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo cut another sod for the second phase of the expansion of Kumasi Airport, which is expected to be completed in 24 months. It will see the expansion of the runway from 1,981 meters to 2,300 meters, and the construction of a new terminal building with a capacity of 1 million passengers per year. In April 2019, the Parliament of Ghana approved a budget of 58.9 million euros for the Phase 3 of the development of the Kumasi Airport. The Phase 3 includes an extension of the terminal building, a fire station, fire access routes, and an air control tower. The third phase also includes the extension of the car park and the extension of the access roads, an apron extension and a runway strip, and an airside service road. The second and third phases are currently being done concurrently and to be completed in 30 months. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.